What if I told you that writing a successful article for the SCP Wiki was actually really easy? Let's talk about that. The first thing I should mention is I'm not actually saying that writing is easy. That's a whole other discussion. But there's this idea on the internet that the SCP Wiki has incredibly high standards, and I think that's really only applicable if you compare them to other collaborative writing sites. See, most of those sites don't really care how good or bad your stuff is. Once you put it up, it's up. But to draw the conclusion that the SCP Wiki's standards are much higher than everything else everywhere else is crazy, I think. To that end, we're going to examine right now a line from an SCP that just got posted and is already at negative 14 and is probably headed directly to deletion. So, one second. SCP-XXX is, an, is a indescribable anomaly with a gripping compulsion. Said compulsion makes people with OCD or authors and researchers, parentheses, now referred to as SCP XXXX 1 have a desire to try to fix the error. And there's actual quotation marks. When this fails, that writer is going to come away thinking that the site has really high standards, when in reality, they're just basic standards. And that's the issue, because on the internet, there are so many fiction posting sites and forums and RPs going on where there are no standards. Nobody cares. As long as you're writing, it's fun for everybody. And the SCP Wiki has a standard, and therefore because it has a standard, it's considered to be incredibly high. And that's the thing most people don't realize. You don't have to be a great writer to survive on the SCP Wiki. You can carve out your place with basic, bland writing with the occasional flash of greatness, that one moment of inspiration that lets you create something amazing that everyone loves, and then it goes away. That doesn't mean it won't come back, and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't keep writing, and it doesn't mean that the mediocre stuff that you put out in the meantime isn't still worth your time. Because everything you do is working towards the goal of becoming a better writer. That's why you're watching these videos. And is it depressing, maybe, to think that out of all the writers in the world, you're the 16,978th best? No. Or at least it doesn't have to be. Because that guy, that person, at that level of quality and skill, can still make a living out of being a writer. And if they're lucky if they find their inspiration, if they hit on that lightning in a bottle, they can be great. And that's why I think people need to understand writing for the SCP Wiki is not hard. Getting an article to survive on the Wiki is not difficult. And that is why it's so important to keep trying until you hit that point where you are successful and you're able to get your sometimes mediocre works to survive. And then you look at them and you see what you did wrong and what you did right and your next one is better and your next one is better. Instead of producing nothing but mediocre works, maybe now you're producing good stuff constantly over and over and then it becomes great stuff over and over and over and then every once in a while you'll hit that legendary status. And that's uh, as much as you can hope for. And as always, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to that to make sure that you're alerted when I upload new content. And by the way, special thanks to all the Patreon backers you see on the screen right now. Thank you very much. Wouldn't be able to make this kind of content without you. If you'd like to join my Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash DSumerian. There'll be a link in the description down below. But regardless, thank you very much for watching.